what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here this is going to be my review for the 2017 film get out this was the directorial debut for david not david jordan peele this was jordan peele's first horror film this was his um he was kind of the first person to start this trend he started kind of a trend of comedians directing horror films um now later this year next month we're gonna have david gordon green uh, there was someone else who did something last year. He was another person from a, com a comedic background. What I can uh, to get into this film, this movie essentially follows an interracial couple who uh, they've been dated for quite some time, and they decide that it's time to meet the um, meet the parents of the girlfriend. So what happens is they travel, of course, to the girlfriend's parents' house. Everything's everything seems fine at first, and then of course. Uh, typical horror film nature we find out there's a lot more going on here than meets the eye and what i want to say off the bat is that jordan peele does a, does an amazing job of just showing tension and making the film very uncomfortable from the second that they arrive at the parents home all the way up until the final end credits i mean from start to finish once they arrive the tension just builds and builds and builds between our main character and the tension builds and builds and builds between our main character Chris and the parents as well as the other people that are of uh, the same the same race as his girlfriend the same ca the same race the uh, other Caucasian that start to come on screen that appear in front of Chris they the tension between them just builds and builds and builds and you can just tell just based on the characters behaviors that something is pretty much wrong with everyone everyone who keeps coming up on screen we don't we don't know what is wrong with these people but we can just tell just through the eyes of Chris and what Chris is illustrating we're just right there with it. we know something is wrong we know something important is going to happen that involves Chris uh, we suspect that the girlfriend might have something to do with it of course and what I appreciate the most about this movie is how it speaks so much to some of the things going on in today's society uh, but what it does is it kind of plays with it a bit and it kind of turns it on its head the people in this film are not exactly racist as I would say they're not racist what happens is we come to find that they have like a sort of admiration towards black culture and their their admiration for it is kind of on some twisted uh, sick sick type of way it's not it's not full-on racism because nothing in the film came across as racism to me everyone in this film who is not black seems to have had seems to have an admiration for black culture and they believe that blacks hold the genetic advantage and that's all I'm gonna say because I don't want to get into too many spoilers I want to talk about some of the characters in this movie uh, the film like I said our main lead is Chris Chris is portrayed by an actor who is also present in he he had a later role in um, Black Panther that came out earlier this year. I'm trying to remember his name. He had, he had a small role in Black Panther. He's played by Daniel Kaluuya. I know I butchered that name. Um, and then he has his girlfriend, Rose Armitage, who's played by Allison Williams. She has her. Um, they're the she's the girlfriend of the family that Chris goes along to visit and get to know. She thinks she, I guess she just thought it was time for him to meet his parents. Time to meet her parents. Um. Uh, Rose at first you Rose seems very indifferent in the uh, in the earlier portions of the film and then as it progresses you start to see uh, where her loyalties lie you find out a lot about her parents who again once the parents come into effect and once they actually really where it all starts is there's a scene where Chris has an encounter with a with a cop that speaks heavily to the uh, the topics that go on today in in society with black 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 um black assailants and officers so really it all starts right there with that uncomfortable encounter chris has with the officer and rose is rose is defending him and then once they get to the parents house the parents just add on to the tension and they just make it more uncomfortable they ask chris all these questions and you want to believe in your heart that they're just trying to get to know the guy but of course we already know that that is not the case because and the what i also appreciate is that we already know something bad is going to happen here and that these these caucasian white 
white people that we have on screen, they do not have the best intentions for this African-American male that's being introduced to his girlfriend's family. Because of the trailers and all that stuff that we've seen, or if you've seen the trailers, you already know that something is not going to go right here. But what at the same time, while we already know this, Jordan Peele does an amazing job of still keeping you in the dark and you do not know everything that is occurring and you're just you're just dying to know what exactly is going on here and it just progresses and progresses and progresses and it feels so natural and it doesn't feel like it's just all being forced on us it feels like a natural story progression there's several elements that we are Ill that get illustrated on screen that we can that help us dissect what is actually going on and then we actually get it uh, illustrated in front of us right before our very eyes of course at the very end of the film we find out what is going on and what is actually wrong with everyone present the cinematography in this film is is um it's not oversaturated or anything the color the coloring is very good the lighting is amazing when it's light when it's dark i think jordan peele does a, does an amazing job of giving you um a terrifying dark dark setting and then you also have the other characters you have georgina who is like the maid in the household she has she has been with this family for several years and you find out why why she's been with the family for several years at the very end of the film and then you also have uh, the gardener I forget his name but you have the gardener he is like um, he's been with the family also for several several years uh, and then you of course you find out why he's been here for several years as well at the end of the film and then I want to talk about our comic relief uh, T the TSA TSA person who um, takes care of Chris, ta he takes care of Chris's dog or Chris and Rose's dog while they're away. His name is Rod. This guy is every time he's on screen, he's like the, he's the perfect blend between comedy and horror. Jordan Peele doesn't, of course, being from a being from a comedic background, I'm I expected uh, Jordan Peele to have some elements of comedy in here, and I can honestly say he did an amazing job. Of blending comedy with the horror and the terror and the tension and the just the un overall uncomfortable nature of this film he did an amazing job of giving you that comic relief right when you needed it and then taking you back right into the terror and Rod does an amazing job of, of giving you those uh, funny aspects even when he's on there's a scene where he's on the phone with Rose and they have a they have like a comical back and forth and it's just hilarious the dialogue that Rod is given Rod is not an over-the-top comedic character I, he's he's there for comedic purposes but he's not showcased to the point where it becomes annoying and repetitive he never distracts you from what this film is ultimately is at its core and that is a very very much horror thriller with a dose of comedy it's not I don't want to say it's a horror comedy it's still mainly a horror thriller and it just has comedic elements similar to if you're familiar with uh, the 1996 film Scream that's what I want to give Jordan Peele credit for he did an amazing job of balancing comedy and horror um like I was saying the this the atmosphere in this movie is just very uncomfortable it's the characters and the acting that everyone does they do they give they do amazing performances the uh the performances of Rose to Chris to the parents to Rose's brother to Georgina they are all they are all just very well done everyone is so believable you feel like there's actually something legit wrong with them aside from you know it's all for entertainment but they do such an amazing job you feel like there's something actually wrong with these people uh, the music and the score that song that song that we hear at the very beginning of the film that is uh, probably the minute that song played after the opening I kind of knew I was in for something a bit sick and twisted here I didn't think it was gonna get as sick and twisted and be as uncomfortable be as uncomfortable as it ultimately ended up being for me of uh, the climax and the end of this film it's very it's a very uh it starts off teasing you but then it is ultimately satisfying and i like how jordan peele kind of once again he's throwing nods at this is what's going on in today's society but he doesn't go there all the way and you'll know what i'm talking about once you see how the film ends 
if you seen get out let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribe and turn on post notifications and like i said i am going to have a slam packed or a jam packed a month for october with other horror movie reviews if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up also down in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there and let me know what movies you would like me to review for the month of october or you can simply comment down below I will see you guys for the next video.